So good morning guys, it's uh, Friday, had an amazing week, really early, it's 7 o'clock, get straight into the motion so I can get loaded, get myself over to Coventry. Tell me what you guys are doing over the weekend. Whether you've had a great week, we've had a brilliant week, we've smashed some steels in, we're just now going to laser level them through this morning. Once I've done that, got to get myself in the office, do a load of paperwork, go through a load of costings, and then I can finally break up and have a well-deserved weekend. Now these ones here are Imperial, uh, the metric ones, because obviously the site that we're working on is the Imperial site, so you can see the difference. 65, these are a 73, so uh, beautiful brick actually. Semi-engineering, because the holes in it obviously is not as solid. So I'm gonna get this pack, load in the back of my van. I'm gonna brick wrap it all up, just in case it starts to try and go over, so to lock it off. Element there, 16 flats. Yeah. So uh, that was my first big, like, kind of big development for somebody. It was quite stressful, but it was fun as well. I've delivered a, uh, a pizza there before. A pizza? So you were a pizza delivery guy? No, I wasn't. I wasn't a delivery guy. I was a oh, pizza. No. I was a pizza chef. I was just doing it on a one-off occasion. You were a pizza chef? Yeah, you know, back in my heyday. Back in your heyday, you were yeah, a pizza chef. I was a pizza chef. Yeah, yeah you've exactly. got hidden talents. You didn't tell me you were a pizza chef. So where are you a pizza chef? Uh, at Basement Browns. So. Basement Browns. That's that's quite nice there. I yes. use like their chicken pieces as well. Yeah, it's not shabby at all. Do they actually like kind of train you like for a week or so? Or what's the yeah, 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 yeah. So at different stations. There's the station where you. Kind of get the dough out, do oh, the right. crust, spin yeah. it, put it on the pizza pad. So you can spin the old pizza? Yeah, but it's my understanding of pizza, it's a bit yeah. of a myth. Yeah. Everyone going, they like flick it up like this. Yes, that's right. not how it works. You see, we're doing a Pizza Express. Yeah, well, <laughs> no, I'm sure. Is that show? <laughs> uh, yeah, that probably is a show because they've got an open kitchen. What's the first pizza you ever cooked? Oh, it's a tester. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it must have been an in between, which is like our medium size. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I don't know what was on it. I don't know what was on it. No, I don't know what it was what on it. What is your favourite pizza? I'm a big fan of, um, so you've got the normal tomato, mozzarella. Sometimes yeah. I have a garden tomato base and a yes. bit of richness. Yeah. And then I normally add either some chorizo or ham. Yeah. Then some goat's cheese. Yeah, go some cheese. buffalo oh. mozzarella. Oh wow, okay. So it's good cheesy pizza, then some oregano, some mushrooms, yeah. and olives. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty unreal. Yeah, you, uh... <laughs> Now this is a fire line board that we're using, uh, built under control of Asus and the access to clad the steel which is normal. Because it's a lath and plaster ceiling we're going to have to chicken mesh it. So what we'll actually do is chicken mesh underneath the steel, nail it to the actual existing ceiling joists, we'll then fire line uh, the uh, steel, job done. That's the last sheet. Right. 
Get those on there. That's good. Put that on there. It's lovely. That'll be easier to get stuff up. The rest of the stuff can go up on the winch. Laser, is it? Yes, there we go. So, laser needs to go up. And then the staff. And then also the stand as well, so we'll get that. So, Will. Mm -hmm. Oh, what you got there? Shake? Yeah. Oh, that looks nice. Smoothie. Lovely smoothie. What was that? Strawberries, it looks like raspberries. Multiple berries. Multiple berries. Uh, nice, isn't it? The, you got that? There we go, buddy. So, I'm gonna get the clean cut end, which is that end. Okay, well, if you hold that again, mate. Just, that's it, lovely, thank you, mate. Okay, nice and straight. That's good, that well, isn't it? Right, let's go and see what it's like over there. See what it's like, should we see exactly what it's like over here? That's good enough for me, look at that, Will. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, isn't it, mate? It is. Absolutely beautiful. One mil. Yeah. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I've gone through all the steels, leveled them all up, so it's absolutely perfect. It's within naught to one mil. Now, if you can imagine, naught to one mil over this massive run is absolutely nothing. The other thing is getting this staff absolutely perfectly level. So I'm really, really happy with that. They're nice and level now. Everything runs through. So when the trusses go on, be beautiful. So we've just got now fireproof it all. Let's crack on. Ready? Dun, dun, ready. One, two, three. Up, 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 Look at that, Tom. We got ours on first there, mate. We, we smashed it. <laughs> it. <laughs> That's it. I'm telling you, the old boys put the young boys to shame then, didn't we? I'm saying, we just, we, when you lifted <laughs> yours up, ours hit this thing. We were trying Do you know what, Will? I knew there would be an excuse. <laughs> Class, mate. Class, love it. So, guys, finally back at the office. So, uh, it's been a mad, crazy, crazy week. And uh, obviously, we're going to start bringing you different types of videos but I've just opened all the rest of my emails uh, we've got a issue between our supplier and client I want to know your views on this and comments down below because uh, what's happened is the client has given the measure of the actual opening from the brick to brick to the manufacturers of 2730 they then sent the paperwork over on the paperwork it says 2730 so obviously we all know that's the brick to brick now what's happened is the doors and frames have been made to 2730. My client hasn't noticed it. Uh, the manufacturer, who obviously is then not taken off the tolerances then that's required for fitting an aluminium frame. So obviously what you've got now is this, one's trying to blame the other. So what would you think guys? Who is the blame? Who's at fault? The supplier, the manufacturer or the client? Let me know down below guys. I'd be really interested to see what you're gonna do. Now I'm going to crack on with a load and load of paid work. We're going to go through loads of invoices, load more emails. But I've just thought I'd bring that to you because this is what happens in the construction industry. There's so many little things we're now going to bring you on this new journey that we're going to bring all of you guys and really show you what goes on in running a construction industry. So make sure you like, comment and subscribe to this channel and let's go take you on this journey guys. Take care, have a great weekend. Hey Will. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. <laughs>